Yeah, we're here. Number 45. We have reached the 45 mark. So thank you for tuning in. Lighting's good. Sneakers are intact. You guys all know what's going. Last time I'm going to have to wear this shirt um, for, for a sneaker profile. So I, I'm excited, but um, we'll get into that. Let's go ahead and roll with it. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Sneaker Profiles number 45. We have come to the conclusion, the final installment of the Nike Dunk sneaker profile. So basically, if you have not caught any of the other videos and you're catching this for the first time right now, I basically took, um, I, I did a live back in November of 24th of 2020. 21, I'm sorry, 2021. Um, I did a live back th at that time last year, <laughs> last year to be exact, um, of some Nike Dunks that I have in my collection, not SBs, but just flat out Nike Dunks. I pulled from those from my collection to show on a live and basically I'm making a sneaker profile on those shoes that I showed um, just to give a really closer detailed look at them. Um, maybe a little bit of backstory in case you guys were wondering about the shoe as far as the history goes. Um, this shoe right here is an amazing shoe. Hopefully we get a, a big um, uh, audience for this one, uh, viewing in on this one because this is a classic and I feel like a lot of people have forgot about this shoe. Um, but before we get into that, fit check last time, got this beautiful Lulu T on. I love the color. I love you know, it's not like a, it's like, I want to say an ocean blue. Got some nice denim on, page, page denim. I'm relaxed. I'm ready to go. I did my, this is my fifth video today, um, but I will be filtering all these out in the month of July. So this is probably when you're watching it. Hopefully you guys had an amazing 4th of July. Um, hopefully you guys are safe and sound and living that best life. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming in for the final installment. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm looking good, right? Just five videos into. So, you know, I'm definitely tired, but I'm trying to bring that enthusiasm uh, for this final video. Um, this shoe definitely makes me excited because it's such a great looking shoe. And I can't wait to show you in a closer uh, look at it. But before we get into all that, if you guys are not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to your boy. Show your boy love. The Floyd Chavez channel. Sneaker profiles shorts, um, Floyd's pickups, all those I'm dropping contents pretty much on a daily basis. So be on the lookout for all that. Also, I'm also just basically showing love to these older shoes that people have forgotten about. I appreciate you, the beautiful audience, the fellas, the ladies. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit Drop a comment down below. Let me know that you're in the building. Let me know that you're in the audience and you're excited about this content. Also, hit that reminder button because like I always say, we're busy people. We're all busy people. We all have busy lives. So that reminder button basically helps you not to forget about me. A lot of people on YouTube. So help single me out from those people and, and give me your view and give me your love. I'd appreciate it. And in case you don't know, if you don't know, now you know your boy has an Instagram. Go follow me at Floyd Chavez Jr. I'd love to see it. Today is May 30th, Memorial Day. Shout out to all the, the veterans. Hopefully, everybody had a blessed Memorial Day. I know when you're watching, it's long and gone, but I, I'm still wishing you. I'm still hoping that you guys had a blessed day. Um, and I believe that wraps all that up. So let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Number 45 right here, but also... In the series, this is number five in terms of the dunks. So you got that old school box. You love, I remember this old school box. We all love this box. Let's get a closer look. Nike Dunk High NL. Ten and a half because your boy always rocks the ten and a half. And let me read you this color description. Blue Reef dash Cotton Candy dash Black. I love that Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy is amazing. I love Cotton Candy. It just melts in your mouth um okay backstory on this so i originally picked this shoe up this isn't the shoe i picked this shoe up on ebay i forgot when i, I want to say like probably like in 08 we'll just put that out there um i picked it up on ebay bought it i actually wore it can you can you picture that your boy actually wore his shoe 
I wore it because I was in college at the time. I wore it. Um, not the most comfortable to shoe, and I'll show you the reason why for that. But the person I purchased it from on eBay, he he actually put in, I guess it came with a, a yo-yo. And it was a hot pink yo-yo. I love, I should have kept that, but I sold the shoe later on because I was just like, I'm not going to wear it. It's just, you know, it's it's a nice shoe. It's a cool shoe, but it's just like, I'm, I'm, I was downsizing huge at that time. So I, I let it go and I threw in the yo-yo and I should have kept it because it, it actually had Nike on the yo-yo. Um, I mean, it wasn't like a crazy yo-yo. It was just a basic yo-yo, hot pink with the Nike branded on there. Um, I sold it, let it go, and I, I had pictures still of it, but I let it go. So obviously as a sneakerhead, you know, I, I regretted it, right? Later on down the road, I was like, man, I missed that shoe. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to find it and buy it. And that's what I did. StockX pickup right here. I purchased this shoe on um, November 2nd, 2018. So a long while ago, four years ago, or going to be four years ago. Um, picked it up, rebought it. I didn't pay very high for it. I don't know what the resale market is now. I will not sell this shoe now because unless I get a really high offer, I'll, I'll sell it. But um, I just, you know, I regretted it already selling it once. I forgot I even had these socks in here. So here's some old, you know, this is odd socks. Um, you do got Doc Brown right there, and then you got Marty McFly right there. Cool socks. I just probably threw this in there because I thought whenever I do wear this shoe, I this is a pretty cool pair of socks to wear with it. Let me know what you think about the socks in the comments. I'd appreciate that. Let me know what you think about this shoe in the comments. I'd really appreciate that as well. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go into the shoe. Let me show you the shoe really quick, the boxing. So there you have it, that old school tissue paper nothing crazy um no crazy branding on this but this is a collaboration with um undefeated actually nike was at this time was doing collaborations i want to say with all those those um boutiques down down uh um in la uh union was another one um their stussy was another one they did collaborations and then this was i want to say this is Undefeated's collaboration because you have the Undefeated marking right there. So what do you think about this shoe? You got brown laces, black laces, and then you got those lime green laces. There you go. I, I Personally, I like to call this, people call this the cotton candy, um, I would say because of that. But I, I call this personally the Punky Brewster because it's just so crazy in colors. If you're not familiar with Punky Brewster, go Google it. An amazing show. I love that show. Had a crush on her when I was when I was a little kid. Um, I want to say her name Star. I forgot her last name. Uh, yeah, hot. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here's a shoe. Beautiful shoe. Now here's a little bit of backstory behind it. So this was released back in May of 2005. Undefeated teamed up with Nike on a Nike Dunk High in the slimmer and Al form. The, the Dunk NL stood for No Liner, so there you go, which featured an interior stripped of its stick padding to archive a sleeker profile. Um, un Undefeated's uninhabited use of the bright colors was a match perfectly with the supreme materials on the shoe, which uh, feature a high quality leather on the toe and in that wine colored heel and in the calf skin leather used on the toe box and then also on the tongue this 2005 masterpiece was a tier zero release and limited to just 5,000 units worldwide and surely stands as a definitive dunk of our time basically the colorway and the materials are seamlessly adapting the nl construction without shedding a dunk's original heritage of the basketball sport there you have it. So there's that nice wine leather, another beautiful pink leather. This is like a suede right here. This is a brown leather. This is a, a, a black suede. And then right there, that tongue. Like I said, this is not comfortable at all as far as wearing a beautiful leather, that buttery, buttery leather. Same on the in medial. 
there love this so this is like a lime green right here this is actually like a, a slime green but this is actually a really light lime green and then the stitching's black in case you guys can see that so there you go and then this is the how it looks so remember i said they it's not very comfortable because they stripped away all the padding so it's really thin um it's not the most comfortable shoe you see that nike orange on the on the label that old school nike tag um nice un dead stock pair right here i've never wore it let me know what do you guys think do you guys remember this are you guys too young to remember this or do you are you just a perfect age like myself to remember this let me know let me know what you guys think about this shoe a truly a masterpiece i love the color combination I mean, if you wore this shoe, if I wore this shoe, would get tons of looks because this is a shoe you definitely don't see very often. I love this shoe. Like I said, I probably would never sell this unless someone offered me a, a couple of bands for it. Um, but I would never let this one go again unless, you know, everybody has its price. <laughs> ha ha ha. Like the Million Dollar Man. So shout out to the Million Dollar Man. I always referenced as old school wrestlers. I love old school wrestlers. Um, but what do you think about this? Do you love this shoe? Is this a shoe that you wish you had in your collection? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. I would love to know. I would love to know. And maybe if you even owned this pair um, a while back. Definitely a hard pair to find dead stock because, you know, it's just one of those shoes that people wore and jacked it all up. I actually wore my the pair that I had originally, um, sold it, made a good profit, and then I rebought this one later on down the road So, because um, I regretted it. I don't plan on regretting it again because it's just such an amazing shoe, but I love it. Uh, I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys love this, the sneaker profiles, the Nike Dunk Edition series. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed delivering these shoes to you. Let me know what Nike Dunks highs that you have in your collection. Let me know if I miss something that, you know, that maybe I don't have and you do. Throw a comment down below. Let me know. Um, until then, I hope to see you guys soon on the next one. You know your boy's always coming with more sneaker profiles. I'm not sure what I'm going to be releasing next. It may be going back to another live. It may be going back to something new. We just never know. Um, but, it, you know, I'm always trying to keep you guys surprised in terms of contents go. I appreciate you, though, for showing up always. Thank you so much. It means a ton to me. Hopefully, we can blow up together. Um, I would definitely love to see that. Definitely love to, you know, get this channel on and cracking. So hopefully that is the case. Until then, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in for the final installment of the number 45 right here. So be on the lookout for 46. It should be dropping in a couple days. Hope to catch you on that one. But thank you. I thank you again for all the support. Stay blessed and I'll catch you definitely on the next one.